jumps incredibly fast, <laughs> which is definitely hard to maintain. When you make people cringe, that's when we give each other high fives. That's when we know we've done our job right. So I hope for fans of the show will be more of what they love with some new elements. They say honesty is the best policy, and the third season of Girls has plenty of that. It's just about finding that balance, which is new, while still being true to the people that you've written and explored. The cast were in London at the premiere of the first episode of the latest series, and were happy to talk about drug taking. Everybody really weighed in in terms of what they had seen on the streets of Brooklyn, and, and it was just, it was a communal effort. Oh, a group crack effort. It was a group crack effort. Dripping with angst, 21st century style, Girls 3 remains intensely open and honest, courtesy of Lena's trademark writing. It's funny and disturbing. There are questionable boyfriends and more chances to check out Hannah's tattoos. But that's not just it. Those Victoria Beckham cameo rumours need to be put to bed. I know as much as you two about that, though. We're, we really know things kind of last minute, so... Oh, really? But we'd be honored. We would love, love to engage any discussion with her, but, but I think those rumors have been a little bit overblown because people are so delighted by anything involving Victoria Beckham, as they should be. So maybe no Mrs. Beckham for now, but Spice Girl fans will remember this guy. I think is someone we all love from that as early as with Nail and I. I loved him from Spice Girl, which he played the villain. So I have a real attachment from those films, and I just want to be conceived this character. We have to be conceived it for Richard because um, he had worked on a film with Richard Shepard, who directed the show, and Richard said, I bet you could get him to the show. The scruffy Hannah on screen lives in a world that at times is bleak. In real life, Lena's fresh and honest approach has seen Time magazine include her in a list of most influential people in the world, a major book deal and a rock star boyfriend. Sex is what you're coming for, sex is what you shall have. It really seems like honesty is the best policy.